Alright everybody welcome to your 15th PHP tutorial and uh, I'm Mehul from codedan.com and in this tutorial we'll be looking at arguments in a function. Now in the last tutorial we created a ba very basic function which just echoed hello world as many times as we call that. Now let's create a function which actually accepts something from you and then parse that. So let's say back to the first tutorial of the functions let's say you want to have this operation result is some number times number minus some number times some number divided by all that by a number so I want to create that so let's do how we can do that so I'll create a function of some math and inside these circular brackets what I'll do is I'll pass on some unknown arguments C D. Let's keep it to four right now. And since you know that these are not used anywhere else, now what these are all about is that we could use them inside this function. But what the heck do these values are? Now these values are whatever you pass on while calling this. So let's say I want 10, 20, 30, and 40 here. And if I echo echo a then some space then b or let's just do this this way a b c and d so if i look at the browser you see we got 10 20 30 40 but if i call this function with some other values let's say 11 to 5 77 and then let's reload this then you see that we got this as the first one and this, this as the second one so you see that even the numbers are different because the template of this function is same we are getting different output so we can use this to perform what we wanted to so let's say I want result as a plus b minus c divided by D and here you go now what I'll do is I'll type here only echo result so let's just call this and see what happens so we got zero Wow okay so 10 plus 20 minus 30 divided by 40 is zero hmm seems interesting yep so let's try with some other numbers let's say 5 1 1 and true let's reload this so we got 2.5 because 5 plus 1 is 6 minus 1 is 5 then by 2 is 2.5 which is correct well we could actually create a similar function with concat by concatenation of strings let's say a b c uh, let's say I want to echo a times b times c so if I type like concat hello world like that and if I reload this then we got hello world and exclamation mark as concatenated so that's how you work with arguments in PHP and there's a problem with this is that once you omit any argument that is actually listed here for example if I do like this then we have a problem we will get a warning but we'll get the result and notice and a warning which surely I won't like to have so we'll know how to fix that in the next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching